Look, you can see my hand. Ooh, in the mirror. That's fun. Hello, sunshine. It's Rachel. I'm here to entertain you. So today I'm gonna just be talking about random things that I have strong opinions on. That's it. <laughs> um, I have a lot. I've been collecting them for a while. Um, just whenever they pop into my head, I like write them down. So uh, this is probably gonna be a series. I'll just collect random rants and when I have enough, I'll do it, but um, whatever. Uh, before I get started, just spoiler alert. I don't know, I'm pretty sure these will have spoilers just sprinkled throughout, so for various things that you may or may not care about, but in case you do, spoiler alert. Let me pull out my trusty notes app. The first one I'm going to talk about is from the TV show The Flash. Um, and it has two parts to this opinion. Um, the first one is I just feel like storyline wise, character development wise, a relationship between Barry and Caitlin Snow would make so much more sense and they both move on from relationship stuff in the past whether with Barry it's his crush on is it Ivy? Iris there it is um yeah whether with Barry it's moving on from his crush on Iris with Caitlin it's moving on from the death of her fiance um and I think it would be beneficial for them to move on with each other I will say I love Iris as a character but I feel as if I feel like the hints that her and Barry uh, will get together are just like too heavy-handed so then like they get together but it's not like there's I don't I don't see as much like enough tension between them for me to be like yes they got together or I'm more like I just the other thing with The Flash is that I feel like, I feel like it's not entirely done on purpose, but um, I get the vibe that Barry Allen is romantically coded with like half, half of the characters. Like is that on purpose? Is he supposed to be like a bi king? I'm into it. I'm for it. But like, oh, it's rough when the relationship that seems to be like predestined to happen, you know, Iris and Barry has less tension than Barry with a random villain. Is it just the fact that I want, I don't know if it's that I'm looking for it because I want it or if there genuinely is like romantic tension between him and like every character. There you have it. And also, okay, so this is going back to Caitlyn, but there's just so many little things littered throughout. Like uh, early on, she says the same thing that she were her last words to uh, her fiance, Ray, who died. Um, and then uh, he, Barry almost dies. And it's just like, there's so many parallels between Barry and her dead fiance that I feel like it should have happened. It would have been so good. And yeah, would have been a good, would have been a good relationship, but instead she gets an evil villain. Not into that. So the next one is gonna be about Once Upon a Time. I just wanna say Ruby, or Little Red Riding Hood was my favorite character in Once Upon a Time. I think she is just such a good character uh, and she has so many like facets and she's so underutilized. But also going along with that, like 
a lot of the like side characters, like uh, Grumpy slash Leroy, like for the first like season and a half maybe, they're like good characters like Granny and the dwarves and like Jiminy Cricket, like Dr. Hopper is the same person. Like all these characters you're like oh they're so interesting and like they form like a like in the flashbacks they're like a council for Snow White and Prince Charming and then after the second season they're just like well we're just gonna make these characters uh caricatures. They're just like exaggerations. They're like nothing characters. It's like Grumpy uh, overreacts to everything and can't keep a secret is the town gossip. Uh, and that's about it. And I'm like, I just, I just, why? Uh, such a waste. It's such a waste to me, in my opinion. Like, I know it's hard to maintain a large cast and keeping everybody like a dynamic interesting character but at the same time like uh, it's it just it makes the quality of the show go downhill in my opinion because you're like yeah the main characters are so developed they have they're so interesting and then all the side characters around them are just like flat pieces of paper you're like well of course they're interesting compared to that anyways that's my opinion i think ruby definitely underutilized she's so interesting and i think she should have been a bigger character just in total there you have it the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video is about ella enchanted I love Ella Enchanted. It's one of my favorite childhood books and I don't even, so I don't hate the movie. However, I do find it frustrating that if you look at the book and the movie, they're just completely different universes. Like they, the people who made the movie, whoever, I don't know who made any of the decisions, but whoever made the movie, uh, wrote the script, any of it, basically just took, they took like, um, they really, yeah, they really just took the concept of Ella being gifted with, or cursed with obedience as a baby, and then like one or two other, like the basic characters, not even like the characterizations of the character ne characters necessarily, but like very basics of the characters and just built a completely different world. Just like a, it's completely different. I mean, I will say, I feel like, I said the characterizations, I feel like the characterizations of it are like skewed, um, but I mean, if you look at it, Ella is smart and rebellious and like, Hattie is like scheming and uh, very looks oriented and then um, Olive is very stupid. Like, it's all, like, very basic. They, like, took the, not even just, like, the, they took, like, the spine of the story and that's it and created a completely different, and it just is frustrating to me because, like, it's not that it's bad. It's just, like, it's not the story of Ella Enchanted. Um, and I vaguely understand, I think the book of Ella Enchanted, while it's a children's book, is a little darker uh and more serious so then it's like a little harder to make it like a friend like a kid friendly uh movie but like it's just not the same story in any way shape or form uh and i find that ridiculous i think the book is so good that while it probably would be more a skew a little bit older if you made it into a movie and kept it true to the book I think it would be worth it because I love that book and it would be good so there you have it those are opinions I have about three random pieces of media so that's it for this video I hope you liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, go ahead and ring the notification bell. Links to my social media will be in the description below. 
I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and buttercups. Got the hickety hiccups.